Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me. Do you want to hear a story? I do. Can I sing a song along with you? I'll hold the airship steady. Hop on board when you're ready. Come along with me, please do. Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me. Hi there, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. Welcome to my picture show. I know some wonderful stories all about my special friends in Grundo. And this one is especially funny. It's about the day L.B. the Bounder and Buffy got married. Married? Yes, married. But first, I'd like to remind you to start with the right picture wheel and be sure it has the number one on it. Getting married usually means having a wedding, and that means a lot of planning. Who's going to come, where the wedding will be, and what kind of food to make, what to wear, what to... Gosh, it sounds like a lot of work. Well, that's what L.B. and Buffy were beginning to think. They were making wedding plans with their mothers. But no one could agree on anything. Mrs. L.B. wanted a big wedding. But Mrs. Buffy said, no, they should have a quiet wedding with just... A brass band. <laughs> Gee, they look a little upset in this picture. A brass band? You mean Oompa Oompa? <laughs> Mrs. L.B. wanted the wedding at Buffy's house, and Mrs. Buffy wanted the wedding to be at L.B.'s house. Uh, but Buffy kind of wants the wedding to be at Bounder Point. Well, Mrs. Buffy and Mrs. L.B. thought that was a terrible idea. <laughs> Buffy burst into tears and sobbed on L.B.'s shoulder. Oh, look, you made Buffy cry. I wonder if it's too late to elope. Well, the wedding preparations continued. Buffy's friends made her a wedding dress, and Spike and Hugo gave L.B. a big party. And reluctantly, Mrs. Buffy and Mrs. L.B. agreed that the wedding should be at Bounder Point. It's a beautiful, beautiful Bounder wedding. It's a day for all the Bounder guys and gals. It's a special day in such a lovely setting. It's a day for having fun with all your pals. We waited long enough for all the presents and stuff. Oh, we will be getting at this beautiful, 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 beautiful bouncing bounder. A funny hat, a pair of spats, a silly vest, you look your best. As if it mattered. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful bounder wedding. It's a day for shopping food between your jaws. It's a day I know I'll never be forgetting. It's a day for being nice to mother-in-laws. And I can't wait, wait to go. go and cut the piles of gold. Oh, we'll be getting. At this beautiful, 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 beautiful bouncing bounder. This beautiful, 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 bouncing bound wedding. While all of the wedding preparations were going on, Grubby, Gimmick, and I went to Rilonia to visit my mother. Mrs. Ruxpin. Gosh, there sure are a lot of moms in this story. <laughs> During our visit, Gimmick went out behind my mother's cottage and began experimenting with one of the crystals we found in the hard-to-find city. As you can see in slide 7, he was trying to find out what the crystals did. He said he was prepared to stay for days, working on his experiments, if necessary, to discover the secret of the crystal. Mr. Gimmick, breakfast is ready. Gimmick decided that he would spend days working on his experiments, <laughs> after breakfast, and he hurried in to eat. My mother made a wonderful Rilonian rhubarb pie for us. Hey, look, Twig's in that picture. He's peeking in the window. That's right. He was spying on us. Breakfast, boys. Okay. 
Yummy. That pie sure smells good. We all sat down to a Rolonian breakfast together. Gimmick brought the crystal in with him and set it on the table. We talked about the crystal, and each of us guessed what its secret might be. I thought it might have something to do with an old book that we found at King Knockbert's. I thought it had something to do with food. <laughs> Gimmick knew it must do something special, and he was determined to discover what it was. Later, as we cleaned up the dishes for my mother, Grubby suddenly got very excited. Did you figure out the secret of the crystal, Grubby? No, Teddy. I just remembered. This is the day that Buffy and LB are getting married. Hey, guys, we'd better get going to Bounder Pass if we're going to make it on time. Hurry up with those dishes. Whoops! Uh-oh. Grubby was so excited, he knocked over a glass of orange juice on the table. As we mopped up the mess, we were talking about the wedding, and no one noticed that the crystal had gotten wet. Suddenly, it floated up in the air and out the window. In slide 11, Twig was still hiding outside the cottage when the crystal floated right out in front of his nose. So, he grabbed it. Yeah, and it carried him right into the air. We saw him fly past the window. My, what was that? It was then that Gimmick noticed the crystal was missing. There was only a puddle of orange juice where the crystal had been before. We all rushed outside just as Twig zoomed by. It's, it's Twig! <laughs> He's flying! <laughs> Gimmick looked up in the sky and said he wouldn't call what Twig was doing flying. He would call it a runaway crystal instead. Runaway crystal? Gimmick explained that the citric acid in the orange juice that Grubby had spilled must have activated an anti-gravitational pull on the crystal. Huh? What's Gimmick talking about? It's the crystal, Grubby. It flies! Well, it doesn't look like Twig has learned how to fly yet. We better catch him before he hurts himself. <laughs> oh, it's time to take out picture wheel number one and put in the wheel with the number two. Be sure that the arrow on the wheel is lined up with the arrow on the projector slot. Gimmick got the airship ready while I found a net for catching Tweeg. He was zipping and zooming all around the sky when we headed off after him. Do you see him yet, Grubby? Glory blows! Twig swooped past the airship, and we threw the net. Twig flew right around it. It's no use. He's moving too fast for the airship. Oh, he's gone. We're never gonna catch him this way. We all searched the sky for signs of Twig. Boy, Teddy, the sun sure is hot. Gimmick noticed the sun, too, and wondered what would happen to Twig when the orange juice on the crystal dried up. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Bounder Pass, it was a perfect day for a wedding. The guests had begun to arrive for the ceremony. Everyone was there. Wooly and Leota. King Nogbert and Queen Lilibet. The Wizard and Louie. The Fobs and Grunches and all the Bounders. Look at the huge pile of gifts for the bride and groom in slide 17. Hmm. And there was a huge wedding cake, all covered with delicious-looking frosting, with two little bounders on the top, dressed as a bride and groom. Everyone admired the cake. Oh, Look at the cake! Oh. Louis the Grunge was taking pictures of the cake when everyone heard a strange sound coming from the sky. It was Twig, and he was fallen. That's right, it was Twig, and he fell straight out of the sky. And right into the cake. At first, all the guests just stood there covered with icing. 
Then everyone began to laugh and eat the icing. <laughs> Look at everyone in the picture licking their fingers. Did you see Twig? Hey, this tastes good. <laughs> right Boy. into the cake. Gee whiz, Tweez. You didn't have to crash my wedding. You was invited. I sent you an invitation. Tweeg was very touched and said it was the first time that he'd ever been invited to anything. LB's mother hopped up and wanted to know where Tweeg's present was. Aw, oh, Mom. Twerk is too cheap to bring anything. Tweeg quickly rummaged through his robe, looking for something to give Buffy and LB as a wedding present. He found a box one of the surf grunges had given to him. Tweeg gave it to LB. Gee, thanks, Twang. Meanwhile, we had followed Tweek to Bounder Pass, where the wedding guests were gathered for the ceremony. Kimmick said the sun had probably dried the citric acid on the crystal by now, and if his calculations were right, it had fallen out of the sky. Poor Tweek. And the Tweek had landed somewhere in the middle of the wedding guests. In the middle of a cake is more like it. So we landed the airship to be sure Twig was all right and to find the crystal. Well, Twig was fine, but he was very upset about his skydive. When he discovered that the crystal was stuck to the top of his head with frosting, he threw it as far as he could. Yep, <laughs> and it landed right in Gimmick's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, the wedding ceremony started, and Buffy came down the aisle toward L.B. My beautiful bounding bride. It was a beautiful moment, and all the wedding guests were smiling. Then Buffy and L.B. exchanged their vows. Buffy, Buffy, soft and fluffy. Grundo thinks that I'm a toughie, but in my heart, I want yous more than any bounder did before. My life with you I wants to spend, cause I love you, and that's the end. LB and Buffy look so happy in this picture, don't they? They exchanged bounder wedding rings, which they put on each other's horns. And then they were married. Can I cry now? <laughs> All the guests gathered to watch the bride and groom open their wedding gifts. There were wonderful presents from everyone. Finally, they came to the last gift, Tweeg's box. This better be good, Twink. When LB opened the box, his mouth dropped open. Wow! You's got us gold! That's when Tweeg's mouth dropped open. <laughs> Tweeg got the box full of seashells from a surf grunge. The grunge exchanged the seashells for gold when Tweeg wasn't looking, because he wanted the shells to make a necklace. Besides, he knew how much Tweeg loved gold. Boy, was Tweeg upset. <coughs> Thanks, Twos. We can use this on our honeymoon. Well, everyone threw rice and Buffy and L.B. left on their honeymoon in Louie's flying contraption. As they flew off, we could see Tweek hanging from the bottom of the flying machine, begging L.B. to please give back the gold. So long. Goodbye, good luck. Have hey, a good time. Honey, good bye. <laughs> Gee whiz, Buffy. Look over the side. Hey, Twink, I didn't know yous was coming with us on our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, there goes Tweeg. He'd better hang on tight. Well, that's the story of LB's wedding and the flying crystal. Well, Teddy, at least Tweeg won't be in a hurry to take things unless he knows what they are. <laughs> I hope so, Grubby. By the way, it's a good lesson to remember. If you see a strange object you're not sure about, you should ask your parents or an adult if it's okay to play with it. Thanks for coming to my picture show. 
See you next time. Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me.